If we could change the past, November 27, 2021 may have ended differently for the family of ULIS officer Alex Cervantes. This week, we've learned the tragedy sewn into this intersection could have been prevented. Hurry, please. Okay. Oh my God. God. New 911 calls and this dash camera footage showing an intoxicated Dylan Molina crashing into Cervantes and his family were released Thursday. Molina now serving 15 years for intoxication assault and manslaughter. And we now know a good Samaritan named Justin Gonzalez kept Molina from leaving the scene. I knew whenever I seen him in the state that he was in, I knew he was going to run. While Molina's case is done, Kayla Richardson now charged with over-serving him at this fuzzy's taco shop before the crash. Arrest documents say he was given eight double vodka cocktails in under three hours. On Thursday, Richardson, Fuzzies, and Molina, part of a new lawsuit filed by Cervantes' family. In it, they say Richardson and the manager of the restaurant did not have a Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission server certificate, license, or permit that day. The lawsuit goes on to claim that the restaurant had the workers obtain a license three days later. There is an important public function to making sure that these bars police themselves. Mike Lyons is an attorney who deals with all kinds of cases involving catastrophic personal injury or wrongful death. He isn't involved with this case, but says bartenders, owners can avoid liability if staff are all TABC certified. Here, it's alleged they weren't. It eliminates the safe harbor defense. A lawsuit won't bring Cervantes back, but those who arguably could have done more the day he died will now have to defend their actions. In Lake Worth, I'm Matt Howerton.